how are you folks doing? Hope you're all doing great, staying safe, healthy, happy, warm, or cool, wherever you may be. <laughs> what a difference a week can make. Look at the, the leaves are just about all on the trees now. Looking lovely. The grass is all greened up. This has been a matter of four days, I think, since I did the last video. That's how fast things grow around here. So let me give you a little update on what's been happening here. So we have most of our potatoes in the ground now and some of them are even starting to pop up. Uh, we planted the rest of this as well. This is out behind, beside the house. So Heather has a lot of stuff growing. Look at this here. We have cucumbers. Let me just zoom in here a bit folks. Uh, we got them all the way down here. Yeah, it just rained here. It rained all day, folks, and I'm telling you, it poured. It just didn't rain a little bit, it poured. We had some wicked weather roll through. We had a heat warning here, which is odd for this time of the year. I don't know what it's been like at your place, but now it is... It is almost 8 o'clock in the evening here, and we are just under, oh, 20 degrees. So that's somewhere around 70, I believe. Let me get a zoom in on this here. How is that? Can you see all that? See if it'll focus in there. Anyways, that's what it's at. So it was hot. It's cooling off now. Man, was it warm today. Other than that, everything's doing great. Uh, let me show you what our potatoes look like here. We have a few popped up here, so which is nice. Look at that grass, hey, look at how it's starting to grow, and I have to cut that very shortly. But, uh, oh, look at there. Looky there, there is one right, right there. Um, oh yeah, there's some right down there too. Look at that right there. I'm hoping you can see that and they're all along this row they're all popping up we do have another hundred pounds of seed potatoes to plant there's one right there I'm hoping that's easy enough for you to see folks so I'm just gonna see what I can do about zooming in there and uh, we have a few all the way down here like I said we have another one right there popping up so it's not going to take too long and these potatoes are going to be, uh, you know, uh, I'll be hilling them shortly. Yeah, see that one wasn't there this morning. It just popped up already just since that time. And uh, I'm going to zoom out here, but they're all down here. You can see that, I think, right? Look at that. They're starting to. This one here too, look at that. Yeah, so our garden is doing really good. Um... Nice ground this right here. This We grew some potatoes last year in here and they got huge. Jeez, I looked down there and I thought that was a bear there, but it was moss on the side of that tree. <laughs> totally different color, but it, I caught it out of the corner of my eye. Now they don't hurt you around here. It, I'm, not, I'm not worried about the bears if I see them out here. They don't really do anything at all here. You know, they may lick me to death, you know, but that's, that's about it. They're not gonna harm me. Um, Heather's lettuce is doing really good for just being in a little while, but things do grow fast up here. Look at this. They're starting to do really good here. Um, yeah, if you look back at my video from four days ago, you'll see how much difference four days make up here. Look at there. Look at that. That's how that's doing. Her corn is starting to uh, take off as well here as well she's got some corn in there as well two little patches she may have more than that uh, look at my little box here look at that yeah my box is the one with the tree growing in it as you can tell I weed it lots so the lavage is doing good well, I even have an onion see see I didn't think I had any too many more of those Th those they grow the bulbs on the top and then they flop over and then they regrow they come back every year they're a form of a multiplier, and there's more here as well. I know I showed you these folks before, but... Oh, and then we have our... My leeks, they're, they're starting. Heather's, uh, she transplanted all these because the ones we planted 
uh, a lot of them froze and even some of the ones that did freeze we, we took a chance and, and they are starting to come back you can see this here starting to come back um, that's what our tribes look like they're starting to look at how tall those things are eh? they do really good up here really good um, let me see here oh look at these these here starting to pop out look at that my flowers they're loaded right up with flowers and very shortly they're going to be opened up yeah I like it very nice uh, look at this here too gotta show you this folks those uh, wild Canadian plums we planted transplanted a few years back two years ago I guess maybe three uh, there are they're leafing out already all of these guys and the black flies the black flies coming to visit folks yeah they're starting to get friendly here yeah that's what our um, Hascap berries are like they're taking off yeah I uh, so the rain knocked a few blossoms off but there's still quite a bit on there so that's good raspberries hey they're starting to leaf out pretty good we should have a good crop of wild raspberries again this year I went at it today too and fixed the exhaust on the car the flex pipe had been broken on my little car for a while it was getting pretty loud and finally I had to change it I priced the exhaust the flex pipe and the little pipe the bolts on the manifold that was $249 I said no 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 I could probably buy another car for that <laughs> so anyways I priced just the uh, just the flex pipe I got an Haleberry from Greg at number one auto and it was around with tax it came to $27 Canadian just for the for the flex pipe so I could live with that so we went and got that this morning now it's about 45 minutes away where he drives so I told him I called and asked if it was in he said it's in I said okay well we're gonna head down shortly you should hear me when I start the car <laughs> okay he didn't because I'm 45 minutes away but it seemed like he could have that's how our peas are doing they're all up now I guess you can see that we put a row on either side like I was saying before and then I tilled either side here um, carrots are up we have to get out and weed some of this carrots are up our lettuce our lettuce is up too look at this look at all that lettuce down there I know it's hard to see but I don't want to step in there because it's really really soft that soil where I tilled it um, you can see our turnips are up here they're just they're just starting to pop up here you can see that little line right down the center there and way down there that is our rutabagas there's a line down there but like I say I, we have to get in here and weed it um onions hey they have popped up nicely the tops well there's I mean if, if the tops are any indication we're gonna have a good crop of onions now I know that usually means a lot of nitrogen when the tops grow on onions but this is good soil here like we never have a problem with growing anything here in this soil because it's all uh, like sandy loam it's all dark sandy loam now they've grown good enough that they've actually popped off the uh, the little the little paper off the top of the onion so the bulb is actually uh, growing when it pops out off I imagine so so the bulbs have got quite a bit bigger you can see here what I'm talking about see here the uh, the top when it grows I guess pushes that off maybe maybe that's what's happening there uh, but anyways the bulb does seem like they've gotten bigger maybe they have not but I'm gonna tell myself they've got bigger okay so they haven't been in here very long maybe a week a week and a half I guess and already they're starting to do good I think we had to go with another hose so now the hose reaches from the house from in there the hose reaches from in there all the way out and we can water all this garden out here so that's nice and we have rabbits around here like you wouldn't believe people 
And they do seem to be leaving the garden alone so far, so no rabbit stew for a while. <laughs> they're doing, they're, they're leaving everything alone. My sister, nephew, and my sister's friend, they were up, they stayed in the motor home for, I guess a week and a half, almost two weeks. They left this morning to go back to Alberta, uh, Tabor, Alberta, in fact. So, so he left this morning at 7.30, they drive straight, he said, and I forget how many hours, I think 32 hours, he said it takes them driving straight. Next I have to do some work on Heather's car. But that won't be for a while. So, um, what do we got? She's got some more stuff planted out here. I think I showed you this before, didn't I? Well, let me give you an update on it. This is all new soil in here too. So look at, here's some more. These are some more of her tomato plants here. Let me zoom in here a bit, okay? That's what her tomato plants are looking like. She transplanted these a while back when I showed you the last video. And they're starting to uh, do pretty good. So you can see all the way down the run here. They're doing pretty good. I think so. That's that's about what's been happening around here, folks. I wanted to give you an update because uh, I hate going too long without giving you guys a video and showing you what's been happening. Now, I haven't ran the mill for a while because I was visiting with my sister and Heather and I were working in the garden. But look at how much that has greened up around here just in our matter of when I did the last video. Now that last video was uploaded, uh, I know it was finished four days ago, and, it, and I did it, well, it takes a little while to upload it, but anyways, this will be about a week, might be seven days in total by the time you see this video to when I posted the last one. But everything's, the leaves are out on, you know, they're starting to come out on a lot of stuff. Well, got the canopy too for my dozer home. Uh, the fella dropped that in a while back. So that's the canopy for that 450 case I got. That 450 case is up at the old house. I was using it up there and then Heather called me and said, hey, you wanna take me out so we can check the mail? And I said, sure. So I shut the dozer off there and I really just haven't got back to it yet, but it's still working not too bad. You can see how much water we got, I think, just in the puddles. Like it rained hard here. Anyways, that, I mean, we water our gardens good, but that, that sure helped. And it, it, we had thunder and lightning, and I could be wrong, but somewhere I read, lightning puts nitrogen in the soil. You folks tell me that, if that's the truth, if that's what you heard too. Seems kind of wacky, but that's what I was told. I was told that lightning puts nitrogen in the soil. Yeah, interesting. Like I say, if you don't mind, let me know. Oh, you probably noticed this is a little wider here too. Maybe you didn't, but I pushed that up. I made it a little wider so now I can see. And what's nice too is I got that camera up there. I have a few of these cameras, right? That two, a few of these security cameras, but this camera I can see right up to the old house. Plus I have uh, one up at the old house as well where I keep my tools just in case, right? You never know, eh? You never know. I mean, nothing usually goes missing here, but I don't like taking a chance. Oh, these flowers too I planted here two years ago. They're, all, they're starting to pop open as well. So these, I'm not sure if these are tulips and the others are daffodils, or these are daffodils and the other ones are tulips. I don't know. So maybe folks could tell me these are these yellow ones. See those little guys here? Those I planted. So are those tulips? And I could be totally wrong on that, okay? I'm no, I'm no gardener, no gardening expert, that's for sure. I'll show you the whiteness here in a second, but look at the view, eh? Look at the view down over that hill. That's the road over there where we made a long time ago to go get our logs out back. The bridge is at the bottom of that hill. The house is right there. So the first thing we see when we step out of the house, when we turn left, is that garden our shed and this out here this is this is the fire pit oh yeah on the back of these ugly solar panels but they're gonna get moved soon okay <laughs> and then i look around i see over here that van's going to as well 
that old cube van back there that's going a friend got that and then we will end up seeing the uh seeing the pole barn back there and very shortly we're going to have siding on this place too we're starting to uh uh get logs out to mill for um board and batten siding we decided to go with a board and batten okay now i'm going to show you oh our tame strawberries too look at them we have we planted 200 tame strawberry plants in here and they're taken off now i have almost enough lumber milled beams milled to make two more planter boxes so we want to transplant our tame strawberries in those planter boxes okay so those ones over there were yellow so what are these guys what are these you folks someone's bound to know what these are right so these are the white ones what are they called are these daffodils are they tulips what are they I'm not sure and those yellow ones out there like I showed you back the video up if you have to and let me know what they are if you don't mind I'm really curious because I I forget where they are you know a lot of places around here along the railroad tracks uh, people have moved years ago and the properties went back to government land and you get a lot of flowers like these still growing that were planted back say in the 20s 30s maybe 40s even you'll see these growing wild along the railroad tracks and the tracks don't get used anymore so I dig some up and bring them home and see if they'll grow again and they do we even get stuff like this here that's some kind of a tame plant too but I don't remember what that's called don't ask me well you can ask me I just won't be able to give you the correct answer I could give you an answer if you want but it's not going to be correct so you let me know <laughs> ask me do you want the correct answer or do you want my answer <laughs> well, let's not ask me then okay <laughs> okay well anyways folks <laughs> I sure hope you're all having a great day and uh, an even better evening if you're watching in the evening so as you can see oh hey I bet it just got brighter when I took my hat off didn't it <laughs> and anyway as you can see everything's doing great here I wanted to give you a little update just so you know what we're, we're still up to Heather's cat as well after nine years showed up. I think I told you that before, maybe I didn't. Anyways, it showed up after nine years. It's been hiding somewhere. Now that the dog's been gone, the cat came back. So the cat can come back. So that's pretty cool, I think. Anyways, that's, that's what you like around here, folks. Little birch tree here is all leafing out, which is pretty cool because that birch tree before we moved the house was in between the bedroom patio door and the living room window. And now it's now it's about 15 feet ahead of the house maybe even more so you folks all take care and we will talk at you another time bye bye all